Hey, Odin. What's up? Dude, have you seen our subscriber count lately? Uh, no, not really. Whoa, 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 when did that happen? Well, pretty recently. <laughs> it's awesome, right? Uh, yeah, wow, that's that's amazing. You know, we were at like 1,200 subscribers a year ago when I joined the channel. We can owe it all to our hard work, but more than anything, we should thank our viewers who helped spread the word, liked and shared our videos, or whatever else they did to get people to subscribe. I honestly can't believe after two years the channel has grown this much. Yeah, that's actually amazing. It blows my mind the level of support we get from our viewers. It feels like we just celebrated our 50,000 subscriber milestone. This is really amazing. Our fans are awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to see what you have plans for our 100,000 subscriber special video to thank them. Uh, wait, what? Uh, Did you not plan anything? I, I didn't think it was going to happen so soon. I mean, you'd think I'd learned my lesson by now, but we keep growing faster than I can react to these things. So, uh, no, I got nothing. Maybe we'll try and do another Q&A? That's lame, man. You gotta think bigger. Oh, wait, I got it. We'll do one of our classic crossover episodes. Oh, barely anyone watches those. Let alone likes them. Ah, nah, we just have to make it cool. We'll go to a big new planet created last year for a big comics event. A mishmash of distant worlds combined into one big awesome arena of conflict. Oh. Okay, I see where you're going with this. With obscure comic book character references and epic stakes concerning the entire multiverse. Right, let's do this. Let's go to Battle World. Um... Oh, no. You mean Telos, don't you? And we're doing this! It's going to be an adventure! Bitch. You know I don't like Convergence, and I sure as hell know that you hate Convergence. So why are you doing this? Why must we troll our audience? Can we please just go to Battle World? No, we've had enough secret war shenanigans to last us a lifetime. I want to go back to the days of a simple bad event where we can all gather around and tear it to a million pieces. And away we go! Hey guys, can I come too? Who's that? That's Justin, the newest member of our channel. Uh, what? Uh, I gotta start paying more attention to these things. Well, whatever, sure, you can come. Here we go! No, uh, wait, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> Ta da! Ah, damn it, Arden. <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever. Now what? I don't know what you want from me. I clearly don't have a plan here. Much like the writers of the story. Boom! See what we can do? We can have fun. <laughs> oh, hey, I get it. Okay, here, let me try. Hey, Alice Scott, do you want to do something about this crazy planet threatening all of reality? No, Jake, Eric. I want to sit around until some guy nobody has ever heard of named Deimos shows up. And then I want to sit around some more until somebody else solves all our problems. <laughs> hey, look, some drones. Let's fight them for three issues straight. Oh, man. Okay, this is pretty fun. Citizens of Telos. My name is Telos. Now I understand this is confusing, that my name is the same name as the planet, but you see, I am the planet. Hundreds of years ago, Brainiac enslaved my world, and altered my memories such that- Oh wait, Telos. Yeah, you're a bigger disappointment than the Man of Steel movie. <gasps> Don't say anything you can't take back. I was the most important part of Convergence. No, he's right. You're just awful. Go away. Oh man. Well, good luck finding a home planet, jerks. Dude, it's Earth 2. Nobody cares about Earth 2. Hey, why are you so hard on that world anyways? You never usually have much of an issue with those alternate universe comics. Yeah, well, Earth 2 and the new 52 round has always bothered me. I've never gotten this story. I was never really given a chance to care about these guys. And I get the need for modernization and all, but by throwing away everything the Golden Age heroes represented, it felt like such a waste. And there's just some comics we're not meant to review. What, think they're bad or something? No, they're just not for us. A comic can be good, but not for us. And these things are subjective. Our particular age and exposure to certain comics means that both of us find these stories kind of bland. It can't be helped, really. We're not going to like everything, and our relative experiences will always bias us towards and against certain stories. Mm, yeah, I get it. I mean, there is a reason why I start reviewing the all-new X-Men or Batman Eternal. After a while, they just get stale, and I wanted to cover content more interesting and fresh, like Injustice or that Thor story with Gore the God Witcher. Right? I feel bad when we disappoint our viewers, but we have to be true to ourselves and cover the things we find interesting. I think our viewers can understand that. Well, we had some fun and made some points that I'm pretty sure you wanted to make all along, and this is just your weird way of doing so. I have a convoluted way of expressing my feelings. Yes, I saw the one more day drinking game, but seriously, this can't be our 100,000 subscriber video. I mean, it's kind of a big deal, and we should do something to thank our fans. Why don't we do another dub like when we hit 10,000 subscribers, or our one year anniversary? Yeah, about that. I don't necessarily want to do any more unabridged videos. What? People love those. I know they weren't the most popular, but we have a way bigger audience now. Well, don't get me wrong. I still want to try dubbing more comics. It's just, aside from the obvious copyright issues, seeing those videos feel a bit long. Like in a comic, you can have lots of dialogue because people are pretty much just reading. But in video form, well, it sure feels like our unabridged videos drag on a lot. Well, that's true. 
I'm just saying, maybe instead of an unabridged dub of a comic, we abridge it a bit. Wait, what do you mean by that? Are you saying you want to make an abridged video like Little Curry Bro or Team Four Star? Ugh, oh, I'm not about to animate anything. That's too much work and will hamper our output. Nor do I exactly want to be what they are. They kind of do their own thing, and good for them, they're super successful at it. But I do think the name works for what I have in mind. I kind of want something like a parody, but one that takes the source material at least somewhat seriously. Maybe the best way to explain this is to show it. Here's a little sneak peek of what I have in mind. Alright guys, I'm back. Now I'll help you back to your planet, because it's the end of the story. And I'm a good guy now! No, shut up, we're done with this. I was bored like three minutes ago, we're moving on. But what about my long-standing conflict with Brainiac? Nobody cares? Well, you got me there. My name is Flash Thompson. I've lived an interesting life. Hey, Peter, what's with the cast? What did you do? Break your arm on a test tube? You broke it when you shoved me in a locker last week! <laughs> Nerd. Nice broken arm. Broken arm, boy! Oh, uh, uh, Flash, you're so funny. Other people's injuries are hilarious. Well, well, gee whiz, Flash. One day, you aren't gonna have any legs to stand on. Get it? You won't have a leg to stand on. Do you get it? Do you get that reference? What? You won't have any legs to stand on. Shut the f*** up, nerd! Yeah, I was a bit of a jerk back then. Mistakes were made. I'm going to redeem Spider-Man's public image by dressing up as him and fighting crime. Oh, <laughs> oh sh**! <laughs> At last, I got you, Spider-Man. Prepare to die! Your... Uh, your butt is prepared to die? <laughs> <laughs> In my defense, it's not like I had the best childhood. What do you mean I'm too drunk for the ball? Tonight, the Grand Duchess of York is visiting, you son of a bitch. Hey, don't you play traumatic brain injury with me. Piece of shit. Yep, my dad was a good-for-nothing alcoholic. And I'm not sure the apple fell that far from the tree. Huh. Well, that was a lot more than I asked for. Wait, what did you ask me? Do you mind if I sit down? Oh, uh, yeah, well, no, I don't. Have a seat. Sorry about that. Uh, ever since the war, I keep telling people my life story with the slightest provocation. The nurses really hate me here. Well, I do have to say that was pretty interesting. How would that boy you bullied know your legs were going to be blown off years later? Uh... I just threw that in for some levity. Peter wasn't so bad. The guy managed to forgive all the crap I put him through, and we buried the hatchet in college before I dropped out. At which point you enlisted? I volunteered. No, I don't have change for a 20! And I'll thank you not to ask me again, sir. Yep, Heinrich was pretty great for a while. Made some new friends, took up alcoholism, spiraled into a deep-seated mindset of post-traumatic stress-based depression, the whole works. Even got myself in the papers. That's mean. Then one of my men got uh, caught on a tripwire. Ah, uh, fuck. So I did the honorable thing. Killing everyone in sight, holding hands with my buddy. Me, man. And he shot a bunch, falling down some stairs, and then dragging my injured pal to a knee back chopper with my bloody and broken body. Of course, in all the time it took me to do that, I sustained so much tissue damage that I. well, you know. <laughs> Uh, Mondays, am I, am I right? I'm sorry about what happened to you, soldier. Are you here to give me a medal or something? I don't need a medal, sir. Not to remind me to do the right thing, at least. Truth is, I've been lucky to know people whose example reminds me of that every day. Well then, I suppose you'll be pleased to hear that I'm not giving you a medal, son. Oh? I see a man who literally risked his life and limb to save a man in his unit. A good soldier. And a true patriot. And one without legs, sir. I'm here to offer you a new mission, son. In what? Recruitment or something? 
I'll still serve my country in any way I can, but... No, son. This isn't recruitment. For you, this will be the chance of a lifetime. There will be tests, training, and a whole lot of procedures that won't be comfortable to say the least. But this is a chance to serve. What are you talking about? Serve? I, I couldn't possibly... You heard me. I'm not kidding, nor am I a capricious man. For you, this is the Hail Mary. A chance you'll never get again. I cannot disclose the details at this time, but I think the name speaks for itself. Eugene Flash Thompson, I hereby offer you admission in a Project Rebirth. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. So yeah, we're trying something a little different this time. Uh, hopefully you guys liked it, and yeah, we'll see Agent Venom soon. In the meantime, we've partnered with Gemar to do a giveaway this month. If you're interested in getting a free rare Funko Pop, be sure to follow the instructions in the video description to enter this contest. So thanks again guys, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep reading comics.